Welcome to my channel folks. Today I am going to show you how to recover or change the keys that might have been lost for your servers. There are scenarios when you are having a multiple servers in your account and one or two keys might be missed along the way and you might not have a way to access those servers. So to simulate a similar environment, here I have two servers running and you can see here there is one server which is called as server without key and you see here there is a key there but i have lost the keys from my uh, the private keys from my account i don't i'm not able to find it but i need to log into the server so that we can get some data out of that server so to do that the first thing what we are going to do is uh, first we are going to stop the server so that we can take the volume and mount it on another server so i'm just going to go ahead and stop it and meanwhile, you can see here in the background, there is another server that is already running that is called as a recovery server. So I'm going to take the root volume of the server without key and mount it on the recovery server and copy my authorized keys. I'll put these steps into my chat window or my comment section so that you can copy the same commands. So while the server is getting stopped, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to the server to my terminal and then we can go ahead and attach it from the volumes window. Now I have connected to my server. Let us go back and see whether the server has been stopped and then we can move on to the attach volume section. So let me just go and confirm that, yeah, the server is stopped. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find the volume attached to I08 and then attach it to the recovery server. So I'm under the volumes tab now. You can go and navigate it using this link here. So I've already opened it and kept it ready. And you can see here the I08 is already tagged with a server without key volume. So I'm going to refresh the screen so that uh, we should be able to see that the uh, volume is not used anymore. So the first thing is detach the volume. And you might want to remember the device was mounted as slash dev sda1 that is how the root volumes are mounted so i'm going to attach it to the recovery server now click on attach volume and if you click on that you can find the recovery server running and attach that and i can leave this device name anything as it is so click on attach and let us go back to our putty terminal and see whether we can find the new disk now we should be starting to see that this is the new disk which is of about 10 GB in size. So we let us create a mount point so that uh, we can use the mount point to mount this new disk there. So I'm just going to create a mount point which will say make directory and I'm going to call the mount point as uh, var recovery disk so that uh, we can mount it there. And remember, sometimes the UUIDs will cause some issues, especially if you're using a Red Hat Linux. In this case, both my recovery server as well as the server without key are running Red Hat Linux. So when you're mounting, you probably will have to use the hyphen O option to omit the UUIDs to cause any issues. So the command here is a mount hyphen O, that is no UUID, and then the device name followed by the mount point and then press enter, it takes a minute. So if you go ahead and see TF-H, you should be able to find the recovery disk here. So the next step is copying the MySeq authorized keys from this server to this recovery server. So the command for that is something like, I'm going to open the file and just copy the contents or append the contents to the existing authorized keys. So that's the command there. I'm going to open it, cat, open my authorized keys, and then copy it to the new target server. So the next step is to unmount my volume. So I'm just going to say you mount, and then recovery disk, and it is unmounted now. So we can go ahead and detach this volume and reattach it on from our server now. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and refresh once. I'm going to detach my volume. And it is processing it and it should be detaching anytime soon now. So it's available and I'm going to attach it to the server, which is in stopped state now. So here I'm going to make sure it is under SDA one so that it will be picked up as the root disk if not we'll just come ahead and change it again i'm going to go to instances 
and then I'm going to try to turn on the server without key now. So it has picked up our new disk and it is coming up online. So once it comes up online, I'm going to pick up its public IP address and try to connect to the server with the key that I already have from the recovery server. So the server has come online. I'm going to copy this public IP address now and I'm going to head over to my terminal. Let me open my terminal here and then click on sessions. I'm going to have a new session and a new session. Let me put the IP address. And since it is a Linux, uh, Red Hat Linux instance, the user ID is always uh, EC2 user. And uh, let me go ahead and open the keys part of it. So this is where it says use private key. I'm going to use my existing keys for uh, which I already have them. So I've added the existing keys and click on open. So my server is getting connected and I should be able to connect to it now. So there you go. That is my public IP address 52664187 and 10255, I mean 22506.83. It is the same IP address of my server without private key here as it is shown 10.56.41.87 and 10.225.0.163. <coughs> so that is how you recover a server whose keys have been lost. You basically unmounted uh, from the existing server, mounted to a server to which you have the keys, copy the existing authorized keys and then detach it and attach it to the server without key and start it. Happy learning. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section. I will answer them.